I am Billy. The article I am sharing with you today is about whether extramarital affairs are true love or not. You'll know after verification. Speaking of love, there is such a situation where many unmarried people have not yet met the right person or found the love they desire. On the other hand, married people occasionally encounter true love and struggle with whether to separate from their spouses. Perhaps when they got married, they didn't think much, just hurriedly got married, only to discover after marriage that real marriage is not at all like what they imagined. And those unmarried people may have understood the truth of marriage from the beginning, realizing the challenges they would face after marriage. So when choosing marriage, they are always cautious, preferring to be single than to make a wrong choice. Therefore, it is difficult for them to meet the right person and start a relationship or marriage. So, is it true love when encountered outside of marriage? You'll know after verification. What to use for verification? It's not something else. It's actually time. Is it true love when encountered outside of marriage? You'll know after verification. Some time ago, someone confided in me about the problems they faced in their relationship. It turns out they were already married, but after marriage, they met someone they liked. Both of them had feelings for each other, but due to the fact that they were already married, they could only keep it to themselves. He complained to me, saying that if it continues like this for a lifetime, facing the person he likes every day, but not being able to be together, it's really painful, like living in vain. So, he wanted to divorce his husband, didn't want to endure it any longer, it was too unfair to himself. But if he didn't have children, it would be okay. The fact is, he already has two children. Sometimes what you think is right, once you take that step, you will regret it. Because you are not truly together yet, you just rely on passionate blood, thinking you have found true love. If you really take that step, after a while, you will realize that the person is completely different from what you imagined. It was because of the existence of the love filter that you thought he was your soulmate. But if you don't take that step, your life will remain the same, no change at all. You will still be ordinary friends, or ordinary colleagues, with no connection at all. But he still can't let go, telling me they work in the same company, seeing each other every day, clearly liking each other a lot, but pretending that nothing has happened. He feels like he met the right person at the wrong time, leading to the current heartbreaking feeling. In the end, he couldn't control himself, cross the line with the other person, but their relationship only lasted for half a year. He felt that their relationship was meaningless, and wanted to break up and return to their families, just being ordinary colleagues. But the other person refused, insisting on continuing the relationship, even saying that if they really broke up, he would spread their intimate photos everywhere. Now he finally realized that the so-called true love he longed for, also had a terrifying side. In fact, maintaining love is already difficult, especially post-marriage love, easily worn down by trivial matters, eventually becoming a routine without any surprises. Many people use extramarital affairs to resist the dullness of married life, even thinking they have found true love. But time will tell you that what you see as true love is just your beautiful expectations. In fact, extramarital affairs are like ephemeral flowers, only beautiful for a moment, unable to last long. A friend has a relative who frequently visited his family, and for a while, the relative always came over crying. Later, it was revealed that the husband had betrayed her, and the relative wanted a divorce, didn't want to continue in this marriage. She wanted to live alone with her child. But the friend's mother advised reconciliation, saying it was just because the man was too young to make mistakes. If he gets older, he will mend his ways, and come back to live a good life together. At that time, the friend couldn't understand why a woman would forgive infidelity. Why couldn't she decisively leave? Actually, it was the mother's soft heart, not wanting to break up any couple, that prevented her from advising the relative to divorce. When the friend grew up, the relative did not divorce, but it's unknown whether the man eventually returned to the family. However, when he got old, he suffered a serious illness, and only the relative stayed by his bedside. But she never mentioned the past betrayal, and after these experiences, their relationship returned to how it was. It seemed as if the betrayal had never happened. Later, when the relative talked about her husband, she spoke with deep affection, feeling that he had been good to her and the child. The initial betrayal was just a moment of confusion, and her husband had long since realized his mistake, though he never admitted it. After going through all this, the husband finally understood which woman was truly good to him. In fact, 
This is the true portrayal of many marriages. Husbands betray their wives when they are young, and wives, for the sake of the family and children, choose to endure, believing that the husband will come back sooner or later. They silently continue to give, and in the end, their efforts bring the husband back. The reason for the return is not love, but because the husband is no longer energetic. After marriage, many people are unwilling to remain faithful, because most cannot bear to spend their entire lives with one person, always wanting a different partner. But initially, everyone thinks they will spend their lives with each other, believing they will shoulder the responsibilities they should. They will not easily choose betrayal. Everyone believes they have chosen this person for a lifetime, whether in poverty or wealth, they will not easily abandon them, standing by each other through life and death, ultimately spending their lives together. Unexpectedly, halfway through, some people forget their initial promises, and choose the path of betrayal. Later, some people realize that this path is wrong, immediately turning back. But some people go all the way down the path, never turning back. In fact, human nature needs to restrain its desires, not letting instincts decide what to do, but always remembering the responsibilities they bear. This is also the advice of someone who has been through it. You think encountering true love outside of marriage is, in fact, just an illusion. Marriage brings its own challenges and hardships. Regardless of how much hurt there was in the past, since you choose to continue together, live well together, don't have regrets in the end. That's all for today's sharing. Thanks to the members, feel free to leave comments and share your feelings. Don't forget to like and share with your friends. Looking forward to have you with us again soon.